everyone. So on today's episode of Mouse Bites, we are beating the heat here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We have ducked into Nomad Lounge. If you don't know, this is probably like the nicest, swankiest, fanciest place you can duck in to grab a drink, a small bite. This is one of our favorite spots. And one of you asked us to come in here and review the gluten-free churros. So that's what we're doing today. What's a visit to Nomad Lounge without our favorite cocktail here in Animal Kingdom? And that is the Tempting Tigress. You all know that we love this. Caleb got a cotton candy lemonade. We did a fun little cheers here, and this is going to be a great mouse bite. For those of you new to this channel, the Tempting Tigress is Russell's Reserve 10 Year Bourbon, St. Elizabeth Allspice Dram, Tamarind Syrup, and Lime Juice. Our small bites have arrived, and today we are looking at the Cuban Frita Sliders. This is beef and pork patties, crispy shoestring potatoes, and it's served with mojo yucca fries. And for dessert, we also have the churros, and this is served with a vanilla crema and today's seasonal sauce. After trying the Cuban Frida sliders, I have to imagine that this is perfectly positioned for Animal Kingdom food. It just has like that nice, like spicy flavor to it. You know, the way they blend the meats, it almost tastes like, I hate to say it, but like a really good version of meatloaf on a nice little bun, right? And the flavors are just they just hit all together. I like the crunchiness of like the, I don't know if there's onions on top of it. Shoestring. Shoestring, so the crunchiness provides a nice texture on top of that as well. The one thing I think it's lacking is something that, um, like a condiment or something on top of it. Some like aioli or that would like enhance the flavor a little bit more. Having said that, it's still tasty, but I might like, like a garlic spread that would enhance this flavor even more. But in general, I enjoy it. The only thing I'm going to disagree with you with is the fact that I think it does have a spread. I think maybe the bite you got just didn't, maybe the okay. spread didn't reach to you. Um, I don't know what the spread is and it's not listed on the menu, but it's there and I think it's really good. Okay, so I'll have to try another bite to see if we have it there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, I had to vindicate myself by doing another bite here. Shame on me for taking a, you know, a bite on the fringe and say this is the full review. So, here we go. So the spread is kind of like a, almost like a tangy like barbecue sauce. I yeah. Think. So that definitely makes this entire bite fantastic. I want Caleb to try it too. Are you having really good? No. Let me, you gotta think about it. What do you think? Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's it smell? Good. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. But it doesn't <laughs> Yummy, Dad? All right, do you want to... So, I know we don't typically double dip, but, you know, we're family, so it's fine. You want to try a sauce? I'll try this one. Okay. What's that? All right, let's see. Don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. What about this one? You like it? Let's try the other one. This one's vanilla. This is a different one. Yeah, I think you like it. That one's strawberry. Strawberry? All right, what do we think? Caleb, look at me. What do we think? You like it? All right, good. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so as Mike said, we did order this dessert. Caleb's already do dove into the churros a bit. We have two different sauces over here. Mike is going to be the first one to try this. So I'm going to give a proper review. I'm going to taste it without the sauces first. Okay. Here we go. Good idea. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very crisp. Like right away. Yeah. Very crisp. Cooked nicely. A very good coating of the powdered sugar and cinnamon on the outside. Very, very good. So now I'm going to try it with the vanilla sauce. Wow, Ooh, that is a very good bite. All right. Really nice finish. Yeah, okay. Now this is the sauce I'm not crazy about. This is the seasonal sauce. Caleb said it was strawberry. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but we'll find out. From the view on the camera, it looks like a combination of ketchup or hot sauce. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. Not your favorite? No. I mean, we're definitely a little bit more of that like typical dessert quality. You don't really like yeah. Like it, jule or whatever it is, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think it's strawberry. I think it's more of a passion fruit guava kind of a thing. Right. I am not a big fan of that combo with this churro. 
I think the churro is a rock star on its own, but with the creme anglaise, I really like it a lot. Yeah. Great. This is very good. And it's funny because I know there's a debate going on as to who has the best churros, Disneyland or Disney World. I think these are going to give Disneyland a run for its money. So in general, I wanted to try this out with the idea of saying this is gluten-free. I'm not sure if churros in general are gluten-free or not, but I wanted to try to see if I notice any kind of taste difference at all whatsoever. So I'm going to go with this completely bacon with no sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a better way to say it, but here we are. So what I would say, and again, this is recalling memories of my churro experience, my vast churro experience, but in general, it doesn't have the chewiness you typically see from a normal churro that you get in a park. Oh, okay. It's a little bit crispier, it's a little bit crunchier, but the flavor's still there. So you okay. Just, oh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. I was just gonna say, you don't have like that, that doughy bite that you traditionally get with Which churro. I prefer. So this one's very much crispy, crunchy. It's very reminiscent of, you know, my grandmother's like, Cinnamon sugar free donuts that she used to make on a weekend. Yeah. I love it, but uh, I haven't tried it with the sauce yet. But in general, this is a great substitute if churros are not naturally gluten free, which again, I don't know. But I have to say, so we did request gluten free churros. Yes. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what she brought. Um, I think these are better because now that you've said that, you're right. Churros generally are chewy, which I don't appreciate. Yeah. I like these better. Okay, I thought you said the other in the background. I know, that's why I wanted to clarify. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so this is crunchy, not chewy, and I think the flavors overall are pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to go after the sauce. I'm not even going to bother with the seasonal sauce. I wouldn't. Because I, wouldn't. I know I want this like vanilla anglais flavor. Right. So. And unfortunately, we forgot to film a proper outro for this video. But as you saw, we were having a very nice time. Nomad Lounge is one of our favorite spots in Animal Kingdom to kind of escape the heat, get a small bite, a nice cocktail. The Tempting Tigress, if you've been watching us for a long time, that is like one of our favorite cocktails in all of Walt Disney World. Highly recommend that. And then these sliders and the gluten-free churros were very delicious. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy.